Today, I'll be attempting to make a game in 10 minutes. So let's get right into it. I'm going to click on Start, go to Scratch, and click on Create. Quickly rename it to 10 minutes game and then delete the Scratch Cat. We're going to quickly draw something up just like that. A square with some eyes and a little smile, and I mean, the small one doesn't look perfect, but it's fine. Now I'm going to change the size to like 30, duplicate it, and make an enemy. So I'll make the enemy red. Flip this and make it mad. And now we need a weapon. So I've had this idea for a while, so I guess I plan ahead. But we need a weapon now, and it's going to be pretty simple. Just like that. We've got a functioning weapon, and let's just scale it down to 50. Yeah, pretty good. And for the weapon to work, we have to put it over here. Now we're going to duplicate this and create the bullet, and it's going to be just red, so let's delete that. Okay, now let's quickly make the player move. One clicked forever, and then we're going to change X and change Y. So if you want to see how to make it, then watch it five times. And then we have two key presses, one key right arrow, one key left arrow, and that's for the X and for the Y. We can duplicate the same thing but change it to up and down. And just like that, we've got a simple player movement. Now we have to bring this weapon to the player's position. So forever it's going to go to sprite 1, and guess what? It's going to mouse pointer. Okay, so that's a bit too near, so I'm going to make it a bit more to the side, and this too. So let's see. Okay, it's perfect. Now we have to code the enemies, and let's just call it enemy. So when clipped, we're going to hide because we do not need the original sprite, and we're going to get out of forever loop. So every second, we can create a clone of ourselves. And when I start as a clone, I just glide for two seconds to a random position. Oh yeah, and we have to show OK, and first let's go to X minus 250 and then Y random 180 to minus 180, and this would just be one for one side of the screen, so I have to duplicate it. Go to X250, and now let's just code it. So I'm going to put these two in here. Go to equals. Equals is one, pick random one to two. And then after this, we're just going to delete this long. Okay. It's working. Pretty good. But I'm just going to do 1.5 seconds. Still not as fast as I want. Oh yeah, I know why some of them are slower, but maybe we can improve this at the end. Now here, I guess we start with when I started the clone going to point towards the mouse pointer and go to sprite 1 because it's the same. So I'll say go to sprite 1. And these two, I'll bring them to the front, and let's make a score variable. Okay, if forever if touching the edge or touching an enemy, then delete this clone. And now back to the enemy. So when I just start as a clone forever if touching spread 4, then we should just delete this clone and then change score by 1, and we'll set score to 0 at the beginning. Okay, let's see if it works. And it looks like it's not working. But there has to be a slight delay. So we have to wait 0.1 seconds. Now let's see what happens. Okay, it's still not working because I forgot to actually move it. So repeat until touching the edge or touching the enemy. Move 10 steps, and then after this, we'll just delete this clone. Okay, so it's not working exactly as I imagined. Maybe if I point towards Sprite 3. So again, I have no idea why it's not working. It's like going the opposite direction. Point towards is again the mouse pointer. It should work, but it's not working. See, my mouse pointer is over there, but it's going another way for no reason. Then point in direction 90, and let's see if that makes a difference. No, it's still pretty much the same point in direction 90. Spark 3. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, it's actually working. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, we have our game here, and I'm just spamming and killing all the enemies. But we can't die. 
So let's make a quick game over screen. Put this in the middle, and then click forever. Actually, when clicked, we're going to hide. And when I receive message 1, we're going to show. And let's just do this to detect if it's touching the enemy. Oh no, that counts. That counts. That counts. Okay, so the timer just went off. Let's just pray that this works. Okay, it's working. It's working. Oh, we died. Okay, we died again. And let's go. We've got a working game in under 10 minutes. Of course it could be better, but as you can see, it was only 10 minutes. So, you see, I had to make some adjustments. Scratch is a great tool for anyone who wants to learn how to program, and making games is a fun way to practice your skills. So if you're excited to take on the world of Scratch coding, join Moonpreneur's free pre-robotics trial class. The link is in the description. But you've got to hurry, this offer won't last forever. So get your parents to sign you up for a trial class as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.